Hey guys, another tutorial here. Uh, another request. Uh, a guy messaged me and said that there weren't uh, recent tutorials with the new Blender out on how to make a sky dome. So I got right on it. A uh, sky dome is just what it sounds. It's a uh, sphere, UV sphere, flattened out uh, with the sky texture on it so that on the inside you could have a scene like in the Big Buck Bunny, that's what they used. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a short film made with Blender, and it's a really big sphere because that has to encompass your whole scene and it has to look like a realistic sky, basically. And you can have your character running around outside, and the sky is a permanent fixture overhead, so uh, that helps you l worry less about um, your background and more on your character. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, just the sky dome uh... so i'm gonna delete that just the dome and i just have a default cube with a, a big scaled plane and some lighting so you wanna hit one shift a and let's add a uv sphere let's tab into edit mode b to box select x and delete half of the bottom of the sphere and then s to scale that way up just like that all right control 3 to give it a subsurf modifier of 3 or 1 if you have a slow computer and smooth shade it all right so you want to get a sky texture from Google just type in sky just type in sky and um, Make sure that it's a big texture, or else it's going to look real. If you ever get a small texture and try to stretch it that big, it'll look really, really bad. So under, on this side, larger than, choose a big, big uh, size. I chose a 16 by 1200. And just look for anything that suits your needs. I think I chose that one. I'm not sure, though. I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't have to be sunny sky. It could be cloudy sky, whatever. Whoops whatever you need so now that you got your sky texture you want to bring it into GIMP and this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be deleting part of the texture obscuring part of the texture um, so that when we add it let's bring that up the clouds aren't down here because there isn't supposed to be any clouds down there uh, the clouds should be overhead in just a blue sky and that makes it look that much more realistic so open your image in GIMP. GIMP is a free photo editor software. Whoops. Uh, pretty much like what 3D Max or those costly um, 3D programs are to Blender. Same to Photoshop. And so what you want to do is grab your elliptical tool, make a circle, and leave lots of space around the edges. Cause that's where we're gonna color in. All right. <clears throat> Control I to invert your selection. You see this square is now selected, and so is the circle, meaning that out here is where you can make changes, and the inside is protected, which is what we want. And with your color picker, color selector, pick a blue color from inside here. Get your paintbrush and get a fuzzy brush, and scale that up. Because when you first open GIMP, it'll be like really tiny. You don't want that. And the fuzzy brush is so that, if you see here, we have this really ugly line where the sky just stops. And we want to avoid that because we wanted to make it look as natural as possible. So first, we're going to start coloring everything on the outside. And leave a pretty large area around the, uh, the selected right in the middle. Don't even go near that area just because it'll look pretty bad. It, it'll start looking bad. Um, Alright, so let's color away. Alright, control A to deselect everything and then just make that as circular as, circular as you can. Alright. Sorry for the cinephiles. I just got over a cold. I'm, ge I'm getting over a cold. Save that. Add something to it. Sky. Um, 22. 
whatever. I'll replace that. Export and save. Alright, so right click on your sphere and add a new material, new texture, image. Let's open this up right here. And UV image editor and open a new image. And wherever you saved your picture to, you want to grab that. There we go. And under image, if you click on that little picture, since we already loaded it into Blender, it's right there. And let's tab U and unwrap. Now we have a perfect circle. And grab that and move it in the center. Now, if you go under here and go under textured, you can see the image if we flip the direction. Since the, since we're on the inside of the sphere and not on the outside, we want it to be on be looking on the inside. Uh, if we move the sphere around, you can see it moving there. So that's pretty cool. So that's what we're doing, and that's a pretty good position right there. So under here, under mapping, let's click on UV so it can follow what we put in right now. Let's close that and render and it's not very well uh, it's dark because the lamps that I have positioned are only on the cube and not out there so to fix that under material we want to give it an emit value so it can have its own light of one and there we go another cool thing about this is if you rotate the sphere on the z-axis you can find a better cloud picture if that doesn't suit your need there's other ones, like right there. That looks pretty good. There we go. Another thing that will make it look better is if we scale it on the Z to make it shorter, smaller. Let me grab that, move that down. Oops. I want to actually see what happens. Uh, rotate that on the Z. Uh, it brings the cloud pictures much more condensed. So if we were to scale it back up, they're much more spread out. If we were to scale it down, they come more in, in the view. And that's better. That makes it look better because more is better in some cases. Especially since I only have a limited view of my sky. Whereas if you were going to use it like I told you, like I told you you could, uh, you'd have a better view. Um, you'll see the whole sky. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, post them below or you can send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching.